Hi everyone and welcome to another recipe video. And today I'm making these super decadent ube pancakes with an ube white chocolate ganache. Yum! Now my ube is coming from two different places. Ube Halaya, which is like an ube jam, and I've actually made a recipe for this before which I'll link above and down below which you can follow. And the colouring is completely natural, it's from that purple sweet potato which is also known as purple yam. And I'm using this artificial ube extract and I love this one, the cool mix. It's got such a strong flavour and such an amazing colour which we'll see in a bit. So let's get started. First for the pancakes take 120 grams of self-raising flour and add half a teaspoon of baking powder and just a pinch of salt. Now you need that extra baking powder as well as the self-raising flour because when you add that ube halaya in it's going to make it a bit heavy so you need that extra lift. Now I'm going to crack one egg in. This is a medium egg. And then next I'm going to add one tablespoon full of vegetable oil. I usually use melted butter in my plain pancakes because it gives a bit extra flavour but since there's so much flavour here already it doesn't matter, oil is fine. Now I'm going to add 50 grams of ube halaya and that's going to provide the flavour and a really soft crumb for these pancakes as well. And a little bit of colour but we'll add more in a bit. Now I'm just gradually stirring in 120 millilitres of milk, bit by bit, so there are no lumps in there. As you can see I'm working from the middle to the outside. And as you can see, that 50 grams of ube halaya didn't really colour it lots, so I'm giving it an extra helping hand with my ube extract. This McCormick one both serves to colour and flavour, so if you use a different one with no colour you might have to add a bit extra colour. Now I ended up adding about one whole teaspoon here, you can see I started with a couple of drops just to see, still looking kind of grey, so I added the equivalent of a full teaspoon in and as you can see, that is much better. What a gorgeous colour. Just wait until I add the same extract to the white chocolate sauce, oh my goodness, it looks so good. So now that that is just combined, I don't want to over stir it otherwise it will get a bit tough. So just stir until smooth and well combined. That is done and now it's time to cook these pancakes up and it will make about eight. So I am wiping a bit of oil at the bottom of my pan and I'm actually getting most of the oil off here so there's just a light coating. And I'm going to scoop even scoops of the pancake batter into the pan. I use my five centimeter diameter ice cream scoop here, it's perfect. I get even pancakes every time. And this recipe made eight thick fluffy pancakes with this scoop. So now that those are in the pan, I'm going to wait a couple of minutes until the surface starts to bubble. So I'm just speeding up here so you can see that happening. It's been about two minutes. Now it's time to flip, now you can see those bubbles on the surface. And because we gave the pan a nice light even coating of oil, you can see how evenly they've browned. Now these only need another minute until they're completely cooked through and we're going to remove them from the pan and plate them up and do the same with the rest of the batter. Which you can see here, I've sped up about 100%, which my free editing app really didn't like when I did that, but it just about did it. And we are done. Yes, I'm aware I'm making pancakes in a wok. It's what I have, just use whatever you have. Now I'm going to heat 50 millilitres of double cream until it's steaming and just about to bubble. Take that off, and I'm going to pour it into a bowl of 50 grams of white chocolate. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute to let the white chocolate melt. While I do that, do a little clean up. Now I'm going to whisk it together lightly. You can use a spoon, but I find a small whisk helps it whisk together more smoothly faster. And now it's time for some magic. Now we're going to add half a teaspoonful of that same ube flavouring into this chocolate ganache. Adding it now and watch the transformation. Gorgeous! Look at that purple and it's so glossy too. When you're mixing, don't forget to scrape down those sides so you get everything evenly mixed. You won't want any pale streaks when you pour this over. And again, if you're using an ube flavouring that doesn't have colour, use the flavouring and then add some purple food colouring in for that effect. And that's basically it, it's time to serve those pancakes. I like serving them with a couple of strawberries just so there's something healthy on the plate and strawberries are delicious. Don't forget my black coffee and now the pour. Lovely. And I couldn't resist doing two slow-mo pours and a slow-mo pan for you guys because this is just so gorgeous. 
Thanks for watching and or listening. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found something useful. And I hope you will join me next Tuesday for my next one. I'm doing it a day early next week because I have a little promo thing going on on Instagram so I just want to link those up nicely. So next week it'll be Tuesday and then the week after it'll be back to normal Wednesdays. Get the full recipe to this on my blog tashcakes.com and find me on Instagram as Tashcakes Tastes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Comment down below if you'd like me to make anything in particular and I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, be nice and have a good week.